Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another disc review or disc comparison, actually. This is a disc comparison between four overstable control drivers. It is a beautiful day here in Greenville, South Carolina. Spring is in full swing, so let's get it going. All right, so the four discs I have for you today are all overstable 10 speeds. We'll start first with one that you guys may recognize, my TI Score Vulture that has been featured in a couple of my videos, including my Vulture review video. This should be straight bit of faith. Next, I will go with the disc that has taken that has taken the Vulture slot in my bag, and that is the Pinnacle Vengeance from Legacy. Nice overstable 10 speed. Next, we have an old classic, I will say. An S-Line PD in the form of an x out Nordic Phenom from Dismania. And lastly, we have what I'll call the new kid on the block. You know this, this has been up for a couple months now, and that is the Spice from Clash Discs. Nice and overstable control driver. I will start by throwing these flat back in, just straight, nose down. You should see these all carry straight for a decent amount, and then fade. Some discs will be more stable than others. I'm dealing with the shorter field than I like to, which is why it hit that net at the end. That net, I would say, is at about 370, 360. I sounded super right there, but hard to say. It's shorter than the field I usually like to play on because there's a bunch of people playing soccer up there. And they were there first, so I gotta respect that. Uh, next, we'll do the Vengeance. Should be a little more stable. So you see, I hit that dead flat, and it's starting to fade earlier than the Vulture. Into the goal. So that is definitely more stable. Then in between the two, I think, will be this TD. Let's take a rip. A little bit higher. But it still has good, it has good stability. Hitting on that. I might have to back up and start throwing across the field. Anyways, and then lastly, the most overstable of these by far is the Eric Oakley Spice with Flash Studio. Arguably the best feeling plastic with this study. Came out a little early, but you can still see that it's fading very quickly. Alright, so our findings in the first round are that the Vulture, as expected, is the straightest. Then you have the PD with a little more stability, but I think it's still straighter. Then you have the Vengeance. And we didn't really get a great throw on this spice, but it. it might, from previous experiences, it's definitely the most overstable. Kind of like, picture kind of like a Sexton Firebird, but a little faster and a little less glide, so pretty similar to a Sexton Firebird. I'm gonna be doing the same thing, so on a flat, but more diagonal, so you can see the full, you can see the full flight instead of it hitting the back neck. The difference between the Vengeance and the Spice is watch, watch how much further the Vengeance will go than the Spice. like a solid 60 feet shorter. All right, now for some flex lines. For wind, it's literally dead calm out here. So there's no wind. I'm, I'm at about 1,000 feet of elevation. So pretty normal disc flights, nothing crazy. Here we go. So the Vulture just kind of held it the whole way. Yeah, like it's gonna flatten out a little more than both of them. And have a little bit of comeback, but not quite as much as the Vengeance. I put down a crap ton of Anheuser. A little high, yeah. And it just, a little high, but it just faded out so quickly. Okay, now for some forehands. Straight. Hated. You 
I just took that in and said no. Graham, I'm not the. I wouldn't consider myself a strong, overstable forehand thrower. Okay, one more round of Anheuser's. Um, I'm gonna put these a little lower and a little less Anheuser instead of the really high spike Anheuser, like sort of full flight. I'm just gonna do more of a lower direct line. The only difference is that PD is in an S line, which is a less stable plastic, versus the Vulture that's in a Swirl TI, which is a more stable plastic. So if you had like a C line PD, that'd be more stable. Whereas if you had like an ESP Vulture or something like that, that'd probably be less stable. I ripped into that and it just fought out as a That is a beast cake. Holy Jesus. Hopefully that's all on frame because that's beefy. I had an original outro filmed, but I put the camera too low. So I'm filming it again. Unfortunately, the discs are in my car, so I cannot show you them, but I will show pictures, which is okay. If you have your own conclusions, feel free to click off, that's okay. Anyways, in terms of rim thickness, I'll show you the PDGA up here somewhere. The PDGA pages. In terms of speed or rim thickness, the Vulture is the smallest at 1.8. Then the PD comes in at 1.9 centimeters. And then you have the Spice and the Vengeance tied at 2.0. In terms of stability, I think it was pretty clear that the Vulture, that's actually a Vulture, uh, that the Vulture was the least stable. Then you had the PD. For me, the Vengeance seemed quite a bit more stable. And then a good chunk more stable than all of them with a lot less glide was the Spice. And I know in the video when I was filming originally, I was kind of dogging on the Spice and it seemed like I was kind of disappointed. But I later realized that it's actually a pretty solid thumber disc. I threw a thumber probably in the ballpark range of like 280-ish. Which for me, that's a huge thumber. I'm not really a big thumber guy. So if you're looking for a premium thumber disc, maybe go for the Spice. Up to you. And maybe because I'm not sure if the stock runs are less stable than Eric Oakley's. Because I was a special edition Eric Oakley at max weight. But I was, when I first got it almost a year ago, I was pretty disappointed in the lack of glide. So yeah, that's the comparison. If you like if you like these kind of comparisons, you want to see more, like and subscribe. If you have any experiences of your own, any thoughts, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will for sure read it and maybe some others will read it if you have some cool information for us. Maybe, maybe more on that difference between the PD plastics would be cool. And if you have any constructive criticism, maybe you don't like the way I presented this video, maybe you would like it to be formatted differently, something like that, feel free to also leave a comment. Again, constructive criticism, don't just say, I hate this video, because that helps, that does not help me. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and have a great day. Peace.